Yo, what is going on guys? I'm just going to bring you all a quick tutorial on how to add PlayStation members on your PC. For cross-plat play on Fortnite, it gets quite confusing. I've seen a few YouTube videos, I get confused watching them, but I finally mastered it and I'm going to show you guys on how to do it step by step. Let's jump right into this and we're going to go open your internet browser on the computer. We're going to go to Fortnite, I mean EpicGames.com, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. We're going to open the Fortnite tab. We're not going to sign in right away, we're just going to open the Fortnite tab. Now here is where you would go Epic Games, PlayStation, or Xbox. So I'm gonna, For the sake of the video, let's just click Xbox. So this is, you're going to need to know their password and their email. You're going to need to know both of those if you're adding an Xbox member or a PlayStation member. Once you click the tab, it's going to redirect you to the Microsoft or the Sony sign-in account. So here's where you're going to need to know the member you're adding's email or password. Once you sign into their account, you're going to get redirected to the page, like something looking like this. And this means they don't have an Epic Games account, so you need to create that. It won't hurt their account whatsoever. It has nothing to do with anything on their account. It won't delete anything. It won't hurt it at all. So you just create this account. I already have an account, so for the sake of the video, I'm not going to be creating an account, but you guys will have to. If they already have an account, which very might be, you don't have to worry about this part at all. It'll just pop up as they sign in right here. That means they have an account. And then you pay attention to that name in the top right corner if they have an account. But if they don't, like I said, it's going to look like this. And you'll have to create them an account. The display name is kind of important. So make... Make sure you name that something right. Like, make it their PlayStation account name as they already have now. Most people would do that. That's what I did. Once you're done with that and you created the Epic Games account and you've signed in successfully, you're going to need to open the launcher. Now, some people might not have the launcher, so you've got to download the launcher. Most, most likely, you're going to have the launcher. But if not, you're going to go back to the website, you're going to click Fortnite, and you're going to click Download. That's downloading the launcher. It's real simple. Once we're done with that, we're done on the internet. We can close it out, and we're going to open the launcher. Something you've already downloaded or something you've already had. Um, right here is where you're going to sign into either the PC account or the PlayStation account. It doesn't matter. you got to sign into both of them regardless. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to sign into the PlayStation account first. And just like that, you're going to need to know their email and password again. So for my sake of the video, I'm going to use my friends that I already know. And... We're going to sign into his account, and we're going to add the PC player. Boom, I'm signing in. So, right here is where you're going to add each other. This little tab looks like three guys standing there. You open that up, and you click Add Friend. And now, this will be the PC account that I'm adding. Just like that. Ooh, I spelt it wrong. My bad. Just like that, and click Add, and the friend request was sent to that to that PC because this is a P PS4 account that I created. We're going to sign out like that, and we're going to sign in now to the PC account, the PC side of it. That was the PlayStation side of it. We're going to sign into the PC side of it now. Just like that. I'm signing in on the PC side. This is my PC account. I'm going to go right here. And as you know, I have a friend request from that PlayStation account. I'm going to accept it. Boom. Just like that. Now that that is done, the PlayStation member that you added has to not be on the computer at all anymore. He can go to his PlayStation and he can log on like normal. And you're going to log on like normal just like this by launching the game if you're on PC. This is a PC. And I'll show you in a second on what's going to happen next. We're going to wait for the game to launch here. I think I have two friends online, so I can show you. Right now, the friend that I added is not online, unfortunately. But I can show you guys through some other friends that I have online. So once your, your member is on PS4 and you're on PC, the PS4 member will pop up right here. The PC member has to do all the work. So you're going to click the three guys again, in-game, and you're going to click either in, he can, do never invite, don't invite them to your party, you can't do that, you have to join them. 
Right now, these guys are in games. He's not in a game. He's just in the launcher, but he's in a game, so I can't join his party. But if he weren't in a game, I could just join his party, which is fine. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to add, answer them any way I can. I won't be on all the time, but when I'm on, I will answer any questions you guys have. That's the simplest way I could have explained it. I'm sorry if you're so confused. Just let me know, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Catch you later.